This is a little game called If You Only Knew. Oh, yeah. Just throw it. Right. What's the first great book you read? When I was little, uh, just a kid, Ulysses would be the first. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I don't know. I, it's just too far away. I mean, that's another, you know, it's like 100 years ago. Well, what's the last great book you read? Uh, I don't know, a great book. I, re I love the Where You Going, Bernadette. She has a new one out, Maria Semple. She's hilarious. So, so funny. Uh, great one. Mm, I don't know. I don't, you know, I, I always forget what, what the hell. Who's your favorite American writer? Um, actually, I, you know, Faulkner I, I love. Um, I have to think about it. Twain. Faulkner. Oh, uh, yeah, mm. good one. Yeah, Mark Twain, absolutely. I've read everything. I, I Probably everything that Mark Twain. Guilty did. pleasure. Uh, guilty pleasure um, um, writing. Is there a writer we should be paying more attention to? Me. <laughs> The critics. Uh, what's the secret talent you have, James, that we may not know of? Um, spectacular golfer. <laughs> no, not really. Favorite writer of all time? Uh, James Joyce. Would you read and it? I actually have read Ulysses a couple of times. Would you read I it? I have not a... read Finnegan's Wake. Yeah. I've tried, but I. Are there some books you read over? Yeah, I think I've read Catcher in the Rye three or four times. I've read, strangely, I, and the first time I read it, I hated it. I've read Moby Dick, I think, four times. And the first time I couldn't stand it. And then, I, yeah, no, I, for some reason, it's uh, 100 Years of Solitude. I, I just read for the second time. That's a That's heavy a, book to read a couple yeah. of times. Yeah. I love Catcher in the Rye. Mm. But my 17-year-old didn't like the character. Uh huh. Well, I, people are that way about that Holden. They either love him or uh, I don't get him. If you have a, if you could have a superpower, James, what would it be? Um, I, I would like to fly. I would like to have a memory that would, it would never forget anything. Uh, that would be yeah, that would be excellent. Go crazy. I'd like the superpower of uh, living until I didn't want to live anymore. That would be useful. I'd like to be invisible. Invisible? No, well, that's not for me. Flying, flying's good. Living until you don't want to live anymore. That's good. Uh, being able to repair anything that goes wrong Ooh. in your body, that's excellent. Jonathan <laughs> Livingston Seagull was, he flew. Yeah, 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 yeah. Biggest risk you've ever taken? Going on the show. <laughs> Come on, James. Um, I guess, although I didn't consider it a risk, I guess leaving the big job in advertising when they were saying you can have the big, big job, and I went, I don't really want the big, big job. They offered but, to run the whole company. Yeah, but when you walk away, you're going like, is that smart? I don't, yeah, I think it's smart, but I'm not sure. If you weren't a writer, what do you think you'd have been? I think if it was the same environment, which it isn't, um, I would love to run a studio. Uh, out in Hollywood, but uh, but it's too crazy. So I wouldn't, you know. I, was, I I never would write a Hollywood novel, but I if I did, the first line is "Hello, I lied." <laughs> <laughs> Watch new episodes of Larry King now Monday, Wednesday, and Friday on demand on Aura TV and Hulu.